Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my year long project pan update for you guys. I do have three empties to share with you guys with one rollout. So I have pretty exciting updates to share. So if you love project pan videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So again, like I said, I have three empties and one rollout. In the previous update for last month, I did say that I was thinking about rolling it out and I was having issues with this product and I have been having issues with this product and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Um, I am going to be uh, taking this out of this project. It's pretty much mostly used up kind of-ish. There's a lot of air in here, but if I go up, like it's showing that I have product into right here but there is a lot of air in here and it does cause my eyeshadows to crease. So I'm done with this product. I used this a ton last year. This was also in a project that I was never able to finish it off. But just knowing that I'm like, it's pretty, it sounds pretty hollow up in here and I'm about done with it, but it just creases like crazy. So I am just done with this product. Thank you for your service, but I am done with you. So yeah, this is getting rolled out. Oh. Let me do the usages on that. So this year I used it 61 times and in the month of March I used it 20 times until I was like, okay, we're done. It's over. <laughs> the next product I have to share with you guys is my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. In the month of March I used it 19 times and here is my shiny pan. Ooh, as you can see, <laughs> I did end up repressing this. I did also take a video or picture of it before I repressed it so I can show you guys how it looked before I repressed it. And I'm done with this product again, as you can see. Um, I was using it mostly to set the whole face. I did use it a few times for the under eyes. It's, it was very brightening for that. This is in the shade 120 Fair. It's a really nice product. I'm not sure if they still sell this or not. I would repurchase it, but I just find myself that I'm not a pressed powder girly. <laughs> I always just reach for loose setting powders to set the skin and I have um, maybe a handful of powders still left in my collection that are pressed and I just don't purchase pressed powders because I don't use them. So I'm done with this product. Very excited about that. The next product I have to share with you guys is my Urban Decay Primer. This baby is all done and squeezed out <laughs> so for the month of march i used this 22 times with two times in april but um total i used it 58 times to finish this product off this was rolled in from the intro so i got 58 pieces left out of this and it's all done i did enjoy it and i was working on the original all-nighter last year in a project and i did like it and then i was using my ultra glow for this year and I feel like they're pretty similar and maybe this one does have a little more glow to the skin not overly matte I would repurchase these I did pick up both during like an Ulta steals where they were 50% off so I got both for the price of one they didn't have these during this round of steals but I do enjoy it I would buy it and actually I'm running out of primers in my collection I'm I think I'm gonna try the elf power grip I don't know what it's called the green tube or the pink one let me know which one's your favorite because I'm gonna pick one of those up for sure I'm thinking the pink one but yeah this is all done as well and then the next product that is out and done with this out of this project is my ColourPop ultra gloss glossy lip in the shade flying horses I believe this was rolled in in the last update this is what this looks like. I use this product, when did I put it in? Yeah, I put it in in March. In March, I used it 32 times because I kept this at work and I was reapplying. And then in April, I used it an additional six times. Then I was like, okay, we're good. We're gonna call it quits. We are done with this product. It was nice. I really enjoyed the color. It's pretty much what I'm like wearing on my lips, but it's not what I'm wearing on my lips, but it's, it's nice. Your lips a better kind of color. And I did enjoy the formula. It wasn't sticky or anything like that. I think it was a pretty good gloss. I've been like super into glosses. I'm gonna be rolling in another lip product in its place, but I really enjoyed that. And that one is one of the older ones in my collection, so I'm glad I got that used up. So I'm gonna start from the top of my counter app list so I don't lose my spot. But next up is gonna be my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This is what this is looking like. I did end up repressing this because it was pretty used up in the middle. I had a pretty large pan 
and it was kind of hard getting product when it was just like around the edging so for the month of march i did use this 18 times with a total usage of 58 since the beginning of the year that is when i rolled this in i do enjoy it it is also what i'm wearing on my skin is bronzer i've really been focusing on using my project pad items which is probably why i've been doing so well last update i think i had what three maybe four rollouts as well this time three empties and one rollout and then i feel like next month i may have at least three empties as well and you guys will see why this could possibly be used up in for by the next update but i'm not totally sure if i can do it maybe i can but again i did repress this so once you repress something i feel like it's easier to use up so we will see we will see how close i can get with this product right here the next product that i have for you guys is the clarence Inst instant smooth perfecting touch primer it comes in this like container here i have used one of these up already this year and this one was rolled in last month really yeah last month and i thought i was going to be able to finish it off but there is still product left in here i don't know if my camera will focus on it but i will definitely do a close-up of this i think i have maybe more than half of it done so by next update i feel like i can have this done and for the month of march i did use it 22 times and i like it it's really good for pores i would definitely pick up a full size like if ulta had it during an ulta steals i would definitely pick it up i don't really like sticking my fingers in products I don't know i prefer like squeeze to packaging but this is actually a really good product and i do see blurring of my pores i really enjoy it so i would pick this up in a full size next up i have the bobby brown corrector this is in the shade light peach this for the month of march i used it 18 times and this is what we are looking at it's about done i feel like if i really push myself i can probably have this done by the next update as well i am finding that the last few days like the past week i have not been using this i feel like just applying my foundation a little bit higher and concealer it's been doing the job for me um and i find that i'm not really needing this product so yeah, for the month of March, I used this 18 times, but a total, this has been in since the beginning of the project back in January, and I've used this a total of 61 times. I definitely want to push myself to finish this off again, and this could also be an empty that I could have by the next update. So if I push myself to use it, then I could finish it off, even though, again, I have not been using co correctors lately. But I, again, I think I can do it if I just stick to it and try to finish it off. The next product I have here is my, well, it's actually this product right here, the Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. But I put it in this packaging because I don't like this nozzle on it. I feel like it just makes a mess and it doesn't like actually spray. So I used this packaging, but in the month of March, I used it 16 times and I've used it a total of 46 times since I put it in this project. And as you can see here, this is where I'm at now. That's when I first put it in the project. So I've used quite a bit of it by now i don't like it i don't feel like it does anything really i don't know i feel like it helps maybe to i don't even think it melts the powders onto the skin or makes my makeup long lasting. i just feel like it's just a spray just trying to use it up too so yeah it's okay i would not repurchase or recommend next up i have my charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i have the shade number five and I don't know if you guys can see, probably not, but there's a window right here, and there's not that much product left in here. And I've been using it. It is definitely more on the glowier side. This is my second foundation that I want to finish off this year. I want to finish off three foundations this year, so we will see. We will see. But I've only used this product eight times in the month of March, and then one time this month in April. So I've only used it nine times since I put it in this project, which was last month. And... The times I have used it, I've noticed that my skin's a little more glowier, so this product definitely needs to be used a little bit more because coming summer, I'm definitely gonna have to roll it out and bring in a different foundation because there's no way I'm gonna be able to use a glowy foundation in the summertime with the heat here in Vegas. It gets up to 120, like there's no way. Maybe if I use the one size spray, we'll see, but I think I'm just gonna push through maybe. Definitely want to get more use out of this. Um, the next product that I have is my Giorgio Armani Concealer. And I've actually been using this as foundation, which is why I have kind of haven't really been using my Charlotte Tilbury one. And that is what I'm wearing on my skin is this product right here. So this is the Giorgio Armani Powder Fabric Concealer. This is in the shade number five. There is starting to be some window there. And I can see through it. There's about maybe less than half the product. So I'm definitely hoping that I can finish this off as well. 
um, by the next update. So I've used it a total of 49 times, but in the month of March, I used it 22 times. So it looks like I rolled this in in February. 22 times in, the month, in March and nine times in April. I'm counting it as two uses it, usages. If I used it once on my face and again on my under eyes, because that's two uses. I count it as one just using it as concealer. So if I'm using it as foundation, that's... So yeah. <laughs> and I think it looks good on the skin, honestly. And this is, again, another product that I think I can have done by the next update. How many products is that? Three products that I've said I could probably finish. Three, four products. We'll see, we'll see. Oh my gosh, this one could be another one. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's my Milani Statement Lip Liner in the shade All Natural. Look at this little cutie. Like, I've been using this, you guys. And I've had pretty significant progress. But let's see, Milani Lip Liner. I've used it a total of 37 times. And in the month of March, I used it 13 times. How cute is this pencil? I've been using it, you guys, so that's awesome. Next up, my Isom liner. I'm, this is a dual-ended pencil, but I'm focusing on this side right here. This is how much product it had, what's on this side. And as you can see, I've been using this baby up. I use it every single day as my tight lining, and I've also used it like to line my lids. Look how small this is too, how cute is this? But I feel like I can get it to like down here. So I still have quite a bit more usage on this, maybe a month or two left of this as well. Let's see, let's see. So I've used this a total of 75 times. And in the month of March, I've used it 24 times. And again, it's not overly pigmented or anything like that, but it's, it's in the shade Eggplant. I tight line with this every single day again, just to make the lashes a little thicker and it's working out. I, my goal is to use this up and as long as I can still sharpen it, it's still gonna be in this project. And then the last product in this project is my Tarte, what is this called? Color Splash Lipstick. This is in the shade Siesta. I don't know if I reached for this at all this past month, you guys. I was gonna use this as a dual purpose product, as a lipstick, obviously, and also as cream blush, but I'm actually wearing a cream blush and a liquid lipstick mixed together from another project on my cheeks today. And this product has definitely been getting neglected. So this only has eight total uses since I put it in in January, and in the month of March, I only used it once. Maybe this is something that I may have to roll out or, um, yeah, I haven't really been using it. I am not really into lipsticks right now. I'm into glosses and lip liners with gloss. I don't know. I may have to roll this out if I don't get at least what? Let's give me a goal of, I was going to say 10, but I don't know. Five uses for the month of April. I really want to finish it off. I'm not going to finish it off using it only five times, but at least I'm doing maybe baby goals for a lipstick that I don't really reach for, so. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna roll in four new products. And the first product I'm gonna roll in is my Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder. This is a set and bake powder. This is in the shade Translucent, and there is not that much product left in here, so I figured, let me go ahead and just finish this off and get it out of my collection. And I actually really like this product. It's really good. I don't see any flashback. I feel like it sets the skin nicely, and yeah, there's no flashback. And it's really, I've never read what's back here. It says, set your makeup with this gorgeous fine powder to ensure all day slayage even when you cry. Hmm. <laughs> but, okay, my goal is going to be to finish this off, use it up. I may be able to finish this by the next update. Who knows? I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see. But this is getting rolled in. And in place of my gloss, I'm going to be rolling in this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in the shade Honeysuckle, and the reason why is because I have two of these in the same shade, and I did buy one, and the other one was gifted to me. I didn't even know that I had this shade already when I bought it, so I'm like, okay, well, you gotta use one of these up since you have two, and this is so pretty. It's like, well, you can't really tell, but it has a tint to it, as you can see. It's really, really pretty, so my goal is to finish this off. I can't show you guys how much product is in here because once you click it you can't click it back down so i'm just going to be using it and tallying it up and letting you guys know how many times it took me to finish this off the next product to roll in um, is going to be my urban decay um, primer potion i believe this is about halfway 
as you can see there. Once I get to halfway, you can see some of that product coming out. So, and I'm going to try to finish this off as well. And then the last product that I want to use up completely is my Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. And this one does have like this that goes up once you pump it. And I feel like there's kind of like an air right here. So the line may not be a little accurate when I do my update. I don't know if you guys can see that there's like, I feel like there's air in here. But yeah. This is gonna get used up hopefully, and we'll see how long it takes me to use it up. So yeah, those are all my products. And I feel like I can have at least three empties for next month as well, so we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys have any Project Pan videos so I can definitely check out your video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.